Hello and welcome back to our ClickFunnels 2.0 versus Go High Level series. My name is Pamela Dale, your GHL gal. Let's jump into automations today. First up, let's take a look at high level. High level, my white labeled version is client tracks. So let's jump in and take a look at automations. One of the great things about automations are the ability to add in some third party integrations. So one of the things that High Level has over ClickFunnels is the ability to do that. So as a result, there are many more capabilities within automations. So in our dashboard, let's take a look. We've got automations here on the left hand side, and then we have what's called workflows. We can create workflows and we can also bunch them together in folders. So let's create a new workflow. We've got some here that are recipes that are very amazing for local businesses like appointments and missed call text back. We've got some messenger, we've got GMB, etc. But let's start from scratch here. Let's take a quick look. What I want to show you is what you're capable of using as a trigger and also what you're capable of using as an action after that trigger. So we've opened up the workflow builder. There are some actions here. We can see our settings where we're able to send specific times, multiple, etc. We can also see the history and the status of anybody coming through. So let's look at our triggers. We've got appointment triggers, contact, contact actions, events, Facebook, membership, opportunities, payments, which includes an invoices, which is really cool. We've also got Shopify and we've also got video tracking. So this is that amazing. If somebody watches 50% of your video, what would you like them to do? So let's just take a quick look at the first one. Let's um, just a form submitted. So if we've got a form, we get to choose what form it is. And then we're going to go ahead and hit save. Then what I can see are my actions available for it. External communications, CRM, and I've screenshotted these and put them all in the blog post for you to have a look at, which is linked down below. Membership actions and conditions and workflows. So we've got wait steps, if else, go to math, goal event, etc. So this is really powerful because whatever customer journey that you want your clients to take, you can make that happen through the builder for workflows here within high level. I love the automations. The automations are all done within the workflows and the triggers is what links it to everything outside of here. So if we had a order, we had somebody sign up for a membership offer, we had a chat widget notification come through, we have that form on our WordPress site, etc. I will be able to automate everything coming through here through automations. When we jump over to ClickFunnels, ClickFunnels 2.0, of course, is on its way. It's starting. And there are a few things that I really like about it. It is very limited. First of all, because one of the things I said right at the beginning was the third party integrations. If we can't get Facebook in and we can't get Shopify in, we can't get SMS out of here yet either. It's very limited as to what is possible with the integrations. But we can see them here under marketing on the left hand side and we're able to create some workflows. So let's add a new workflow and I'll just show you what's possible. I just call this test workflow and it gives me the opportunity to run multiple runs per contact, multiple runs per contact, both sim simultaneous and back to back and then only run once per contact. So we have that same capability within high level as well. Let's go ahead and create the workflow. And then here are our triggers. At this time, we can send it active, etc., which in high level would be published. And we just have these four. So we've got a calendar, an order, an opt-in, or a page view. I love the page view one. And then we choose the funnel, and then we would choose the page. And we would go ahead and create that trigger. So let's do this and see. Oh, I don't have an event funnel. So let's do the opt-in for now. And then we're going to be able to see, I'm going to be able to turn this on and I'm going to close. That means that that's what I want for that trigger. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm fairly new to this, so I apologize. Now we can click here. This opens up my actions. 
So I can send an email. I can't send a sequence at this time. There's coming soon here. I can split. I can delay, trigger, end path. We've got goals. We've got contact. We've got note. We don't have tasks yet. High level does have the ability to add tasks, add internal notifications, notify here as well, create an affiliate, third party integrations, as I mentioned, and we've got webhook and enroll. So these are a little bit more limited, but what I'll, let me show you what I think is really cool is I can turn this on, of course, but let's go over to the funnel. So when I come here to sites and I come into my funnel and I click on this one here, What I can see here is I can add a workflow right from that page based on what is it that I just had added in. So this is really powerful. So I really like that I'm able to do that and then I'm able to kind of jump into the workflow builder here. So one of the things I really love about ClickFunnels is the ability to do this. Now it is a little bit more limited and as we know ClickFunnels will it or won't it do and follow the path that it has planned for its builder. I do hope so for the users that are there. What I do know about high level is that the workflow builder is a priority and as you can see the options are endless with regards to what it is that we can do. I love that it's all in one place and that I can go in and look at all of my workflows like ClickFunnels has as well, and I can have it do just about anything. Both of them do have webhooks and the ability to do Zapier, so that does open up the possibilities for both as well. However, within high level, we have so many native connections and workflow triggers and actions that it really limits the ability or the necessity to have to do that. So for automations, I think for this round, it will go to high level. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about workflows or either of pieces of this software, you know how to reach me down below. See you soon.